bestimmt eine unschuldige Blume zerstört. <lacht> Holmes, for heaven's sake, whatever is going on? Oh, hello, Watson. You are early. Did you kill all of your patients? What? What? Holmes, where have all these wretched bees come from? I increased the temperature of the room so as to prevent them from hibernating. I needed to take a sample of honey. But it worked, Watson. We will have honey all year round. Ridiculous and dangerous. They are domestic bees. Apis mellifera. Such industrious workers. Anyway, Watson, I am sorry, but I must leave you. I'm in rather a hurry. You have a new case? Yes, but nothing as thrilling as this experiment. A theft of plants at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew. I'm helping a minister who's an old friend of mine. You can join me if you like. Well, I'll admit that I'd far rather accompany you than remain alone here with these workers of yours. Besides, you'll need a helping hand with the flowers you're intending to bring back. Watson, however did you guess? For the yeah. great Sherlock Holmes to bother with the theft of plants. Come on, admit that you're planning to spoil your little bees with some rare pollens. <laughs> Since when did I become so transparent? Let us go. <laughs> oh man, Gott. Well, Holmes, here we are at the Royal Botanic Gardens. There's no doubt that this place is beautiful. But are you really intent on investigating the theft of the plants? Yes, of course. Na immer. Pflanzen sind wichtig, Watson. Don't touch anything else, is that clear? Just wow. go and get a bucket of fertilizer. And without turning it over this time... Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? If you are here for a visit, please do come back on Sunday. I am afraid that it cannot wait. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. We are investigating the theft of plants that took place here five days ago. A remarkable collection, I believe. So you're the one in charge, eh? A small favor for a friend. Now to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? I am Martin Hamish. I am the deputy director of Kew Gardens, and that fellow yonder is Albert. He works here. I am delighted to meet you. What can you tell us about the plants? They were rare and exceptional plants. We presented them at our last exhibition. We haven't removed the stand yet. It is still in the large glass house. We only learned of their disappearance the evening after the exhibition, and nobody saw anything. No doors were forced? No. But I would imagine that for a thief it would be fairly easy to gain entry, for there are no guards here. Well, if you don't mind, we will take a look. Now, you say that it is in the large glass house. Yes, the one just behind me. Just a second, since Albert has nothing else to do. Albert, show these gentlemen where the exhibition was held. How many people work here? Only myself, but occasionally two students, Albert, whom you have met, and Miss White. Mm-hmm. Here it is. This is the place where the stolen plants were exhibited. Thank you. Is there something the matter? Yes, there is. All right, the plants were valuable and rare, but it seems to me that the tragedy that took place here only two days ago has been entirely forgotten already. What tragedy are you referring to? My... the director of Kew Gardens, Mr. Montague Dunn. He died here just two days ago. We're very sorry. We were not aware. The two of you were good friends? He... He was my father. Oh dear, our condolences. We should not be troubling you. Please do excuse us for the intrusion. You say that he died here, in the large glass house? Holmes? Yes, just here. 
near the door to the colonial collection. He suffered a heart attack. Just like that. So suddenly. It was terrible. Excuse me, gentlemen, but I cannot remain here. If you need me, I'll be in the reserve. That's the room next to the front of the large greenhouse. Of course, we understand. Mhm. Mm the plants were here. All of them were stolen. Do not touch. Here is a list of the stolen plants. Let's listen. What? Oh, teilweise. According to Albert, this mm. is where his father, Montague Dunn, was found dead. Soil. It should have come from a flower pot. The soil on the side of this flower shelf is the same as that on the ground. Oh, interesting. The traces are thinner in some places. These boot marks are fresh. It appears as though someone was dragging their feet. The footprints reveal that someone staggered here. Mm -hmm. This sign is broken. Something heavy was dropped upon it. Fragments of a flower pot. It fell down here. This pot was broken fairly recently. A flower pot recently fell down from these shelves and was misplaced. The door was smashed at shoulder height. This door handle is new. It was recently changed. The esconson was breached near the handle. The door was forced from the inside of the colonial collection room. The handle was changed afterwards. I think we need to inspect the colonial collection. Yeah, that's like me away. Yeah. According to this, they have light and moisture control in some parts of the building. Wow. I've been reingetreten. The smell is strong. It is a detergent. This broken fragment was the result of a heavy blow. A fragment of marble, most likely chipped from a statue or sculpture. Hmm. These windows were perfectly cleaned. Part of this greenhouse was emptied and thoroughly cleaned. Interessant. This is one of the outlets of the ventilation system. Aha. These plants come from all the territories of the British Empire. Oh, sieht doch sehr interessant aus, die Dinger. Ja. Okay, nicht zu nah mit der Hand daran. <lacht> Water Lily Greenhouse. Mhm. Okay. Also hier drin ist irgendwas geschehen, was jemand in Panik versetzt hat. Er ist dann, er hat dann die Tür aufgebrochen und ist dann gestolpert und ist da reingefallen. Blood. Someone fell violently against this sign. 
and they were injured in the clash, most likely a head wound. All the clues around here are quite suspicious. I need my imagination to make sense of it all. Okay, imagination mode on. Okay, Sequenz ansehen. This reconstruction reveals a disturbing fact. Montague Dunn damaged the door of the colonial collection room. He was in a panic, or the door was locked. Was it an accident, or a murder then, I wonder? Tja, das ist die große Frage. Wir müssen eine Autopsie durchführen. Watson, wollen Sie das machen? Na, er ist schließlich Arzt. Ah, Scotland Yard. I asked Inspector Lestrade to take Montague Dunn's body to Scotland Yard. It's ready for autopsy then. Okay. Das heißt, diesmal dürfen wir wohl ran. Aber erstmal natürlich schauen wir mal, was wir so finden. Aber nichts mitziehen lassen. Nee, 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 nee. Zu spät. <lacht> Mr. F. Wayne, Geschäftsführer der Druckerei Wayne and Sons. Werter Mr. Wayne, Ihre Plakate für die große Ausstellung in Kew Gardens sind wundervoll geworden. Allerdings ist es wohl nicht nötig, die gesamte Belegschaft zu erwähnen. Nur mein Name ist ausreichend. Okay. Scheint ganz schön Arsch zu sein. A beautiful feather pen of a good make. This watch is of great value. Meins. <lacht> a membership card for the London Crest Club. Mhm. Okay, diesmal haben wir nur den Brief mitgenommen. Äh. Watson, haben Sie etwa abgeschlossen? Locked. Warum will es Trat nicht, dass ich in sein Büro komme? Hat er Angst, dass ich ihm was klaue? Na gut. Steck liegt auch schon da. First of all, let us carry out an external examination. There are no suspicious marks upon the chest. Let us finish our external examination so that we can proceed with the autopsy. The vessels and the pupil of the eye appear quite normal. There is an injury to the skull most probably caused by the fall in the water lily greenhouse. Mm -hmm. The air from the lungs carries a faint floral aroma. Hmm. No redness, stings or bruises. Uh -huh. Nothing suspicious here. Now, let us examine the internal organs. Oh, lecker. Oh, wow. The heart's blood so vessels well. show no yeah. pathological signs. The heart tissue shows no visible pathological signs. 
Kaiser kommt da zurück. <lacht> Nun die Leber. <lacht> the liver is enlarged. It would seem that he was suffering from an alcohol addiction. Oh. Okay. The liver tissue is brown. There are no visible pathological signs. Mhm. Also nicht so groß wie der Typ im letzten Fall. <lacht> the lungs are congested and edematous. Mhm. Ew. Oh la la. Okay, das ist nicht normal. The tissue yeah. on the inferior lobe of the right lung is damaged, most probably caused by toxins from an unknown plant. Ja, das habe ich mir auch gedacht. Dass er durch eine Blume vergiftet wurde. Mm. The stomach tissues show no visible pathological signs. Oh. Nicht zu doll drücken. <laughs> There is a small amount of content. It appears that he breakfasted lightly, only a short while before his death. <laughs> his suspicions have been substantiated. Montague Dunn, the director of Kew Gardens, died from poisoning. Plant poisoning, to be more exact. You mean... Yes, it is murder. We should inform Lestrade. Yes, but do remember, Watson, that I discovered the murder. The challenge is mine. The challenge, Holmes? We need to locate that deadly plant. Such a perfect murder appeals to me. Murder of any kind appeals to you. Is that all we need to do? No. We also have the people working at Kew Gardens. Martin Hamish and the son of the victim, Albert Dunn. And also Miss White, of whom we spoke with Mr. Hamish. Should we bring them all here for interrogation? No. A few innocuous questions at Q will suffice, as well as a discreet delve into their personal affairs. Yes, Watson. It is time now to open the doors. Even those in the staff building? I suppose that is necessary. <laughs> we should also be concerned with the victim himself. After all, we don't know very much about Montague Dunn. You're enjoying this already, aren't you? <laughs> More than a little. Tja, you find it all tallest pa. Kann, dass der dann ein kleines Arschloch war. Ja. Dann zurück nach Kew Gardens. Stellen wir ein paar harmlose Fragen den Leuten. Das ist ja schon der Erste. Mhm. Kurzsichtig, billige Brille. Dreckiger Kragen. Unverheiratet? Oh. Das ist die linke Hand. Hände eines Gärtners. Mr. Hamish, can you explain to us what happened to the colonial collection? It seems somewhat depleted. But, uh, oh, most likely maintenance work, tidying up. You're not sure then? But you're the deputy director. Well, I am busy. I cannot be everywhere at once. Albert told us about the tragic death of Mr. Dunn, the late director of Kew Gardens. Tragic indeed. His heart attack was quite unexpected. 
as Deputy Director, how has your relationship with Montague done? To be honest with you, Mr. Holmes, it could have been better. You see, every Tuesday he would carry out his inspection of the gardens, but it was solely to make an impression, great pretense that he cared at all. He would give out absurd orders, ignoring anyone else's opinion. He would then disappear for the rest of the week. He was what some might call a man of action. I'd say rather he was overzealous and chaotic. So after all, it was no wonder, perhaps, that he ended up like that, if you take into consideration his kind of lifestyle. You mentioned that Mr. Dunn led a particular lifestyle. Well, it's no secret that he enjoyed uh, celebrating, shall we say? He was a member of the London Smart Set. He was famous for it. That and... And? He had an eye for the ladies, to put it mildly, Mr. Holmes. Oh, wow. Now tell me, Mr. Hamish, do you grow the more deadly variety of plant here? You mean insectivorous? Yes, but nothing larger than that. Hmm. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Ob der Typ so ehrlich war. Can I help you, gentlemen? Interessant. Ich habe noch einen weiteren gesucht und da ist er schon. Gerollte Daumen hat vor kurzem geweint. Ja, sein Vater ist vor zwei Tagen gestorben. Natürlich hat er geheult. Beim Rasieren geschnitten. Ja, ich würde sagen, da uns auf den Tod seines Vaters aufmerksam gemacht hat, war ihn schon verbunden. Saubere Hände. Who is Miss Margaret White? Ah, oh, she is the young lady who studies with me. She visits here sometimes to help out with the greenhouses. In fact, she should be here today. She wanted to work at the seed house. That's the small greenhouse across from the large glass house. Uh -huh. Hmm. Uh, do you work here? Yes, but part-time only. But I'm also studying botany at the University of London. You're following in your father's footsteps, then that is commendable. Well, even if botany is not my strongest suit, there are people who say that I could be a good manager. Ja, das war jetzt eigentlich eine bescheuerte Frage, denn warum sollte er sonst auf der Leiter stehen und da arbeiten? We noticed that a part of the colonial collection has been cleared. Ah, oh, at the moment I'm just dealing with the storage room. I don't know much about the other rooms. I imagine that your relationship with your father may have been a strained one. Yes, I cannot say that he was a kind man. For he never listened to me at all. He forced me to work here. But now, after his death, I've been pondering it over. Perhaps he wasn't so wrong about me after all. I have to follow his path, and I have to manage Kew Gardens. And I can do it. I can be as good as any other who works here. Would you please tell us about Martin Hamish, the Deputy Director? Well, I have to tell you that Mr. Hamish is not and has never been the deputy director of Kew Gardens. My father would not have tolerated it. Indeed. Well, that is most interesting. He told us that he was. Yes, because he believes that the management should be passed down to him now that my father is dead. But in actual fact, Mr. Hamish only has the honor of being the garden's longest serving employee. In fact, if we are to think logically at all, it should be me who takes over the management of Kew Gardens. Do you not have a good relationship with Mr. Hamish? I suppose so. But we have very little in common. Mr. Hamish loves his plants and Kew Gardens, and I cannot say that I share his passion. I see. And how was his relationship with your father? Oh, he hated my father. It was obvious. He would be furious whenever my father boasted of Kew Gardens in the newspapers or at conferences. He was convinced that my father was stealing all of the credit for himself. But my father treated Mr. Hamish in the same way as he treated anyone. Dismissively. With indifference. Oh, man. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon.
Ja, und wir sollten langsam mal Pause machen. Okidoki. Na dann, bis zum nächsten Mal, liebe Leute. Bis zum nächsten Mal.